Welcome to the American College of Healthcare Trustees vlog, video blog. It also has the elements of an easing because it's best viewed with our publication. The American College of Healthcare Trustees is outward and inward looking. Outwardly, it helps it strives to improve society by improving the quality of governance, leadership, and decision making in healthcare. But it's also inward looking and it, it, it um, strives to provide resources for our fellows. The curriculum is fairly straightforward. We concentrate on. Uh, compliance and health law, ethics, quality and safety, leadership, leadership skills, human resources, information technology, and more. But promotability goes beyond that. And to reach the highest echelons in uh, leadership responsibility, one needs to have that creative spark to understand literature and art, and yes, sports. There's a great story by Calvin Trilling where somebody's applying to be, uh, is being interviewed by the board of directors to be president of an Ivy League university, and everything seems to be going well, and he's sure to have the job. And then one of the board members asks him what his favorite sports team is. And the candidate admits that he doesn't like sports. And after that, all the, the board members put their papers in their briefcases and get up to leave. And the idea is that if you didn't like sports, you weren't trustworthy, and you certainly couldn't be trusted with an Ivy League university. Well, I like sports as well as the next person, but I don't think my competence to run a major university should be based on uh, my love for, for sports. But my point is that if you're gonna be entrusted with uh, the reins of a major institution, you need more than a, an understanding of the various uh, cognitive elements of leadership. You need to have creativity in that little a little something extra. So in this weekend's mailing to 5,000 people, we, we show uh, some street art by Banksy, who uh, apparently has become quite famous and uh, quite a, uh, a gadfly. And it, it shows the New Orleans Ninth Ward and uh, a gentleman quite content in his, uh, in his place there. And it makes the point that you can be content almost anywhere. And I know a great writer, who, uh, for the moment she'll go nameless, who um, described this scene with an empty parking lot with broken glass and people sitting around in folding chairs in a celebratory fashion. And just recently I was speaking to a friend who lives outside San Francisco and he was saying that his uh, printing presses are, are open because they're considered a, uh, a necessity. And once a week he puts a bunch of folding chairs in the empty parking lot, six feet from each other in a circle with a case of beer in the middle and folks get together and uh, shoot the uh, shoot the breeze. And to me, it's reminiscent of the salons of the uh, Enlightenment and the Romantic period in Europe uh, and during the uh, Belle Epoque when people got together and discussed uh, discussed art, literature, and poetry. And while I'm sure it can sometimes get pretentious, the concept is a good one and one we embrace at the American College of Healthcare Trustees 
because what we're striving for is the cross-pollination among people of different disciplines because we feel that um, that's where the great ideas come to the fore. When we're able to transcend the artificial boundaries of academic uh, disciplines and job titles. We hope you'll read our emails. Uh, they go out to about 5,000 people. And our website had 20,000 visits in the last five weeks. We try to make it uh, replete with information you'll find interesting, amusing, and edifying, and stuff that you can use in your careers and in your life. <clears throat>